Resistors come in a variety of sizes and shapes, and you might at first glance assume that the larger of these resistors has a higher resistance value, but in fact all of the resistors you can see here have values between 100 and 110 ohms. This clearly illustrates that there isn't a direct relationship between the size of a resistor and its resistance value. The power rating is a physical property measured in watts and is usually determined by the materials that the resistor is made of and its overall physical size. These smaller resistors are rated to 1 8 of a watt, quarter of a watt, half a watt and 1 watt. A larger physical size usually indicates a higher power rating and a higher power rating means the resistor can operate at a higher temperature. Wire-wound power resistors like these ones are much larger than the carbon and metal film resistors. This one is rated to 5 watts and this one to 10 watts. A higher power rating allows for higher voltage. This rating gives the highest voltage that can be applied across the resistor. More power produces more heat, which requires the use of resistors that are capable of dissipating that extra heat in in other words, the power rating is the maximum power the resistor can safely dissipate without degrading its physical properties and make up shortening its life and ultimately burning up. It's not uncommon for carbon resistors to become quite warm in use, but they shouldn't get to the point of sweating beads of liquid on their case. That would be a good indication that they're being used in a circuit that exceeds their power rating. Wire-wound power resistors can comfortably operate at much higher temperatures, often in the region of 300 to 350 degrees Celsius, but you should always check the data sheet to be sure. Here I have a 10 watt, 470 ohm resistor with around 60 volts at 8 watts from the power supply. You can see the temperature is very high, but is still well within the specifications of this resistor. If a resistor becomes too hot due to excessive power, it can permanently and significantly change the resistance value due to alteration of the actual physical properties of that resistor. Worst case scenario, it can create internal arcing between the turns of the resistor, or in carbon resistors, an arc between the actual granules of carbon and burn open. And here's what that looks like. Unfortunately, there are no resistor color codes that tell you the power rating, but the size of the resistor is usually a good indication. Power ratings are also usually printed on the component packaging when you buy new resistors, and resistors with larger power ratings are usually more expensive and aren't sold in large component packs like you see with the more common quarter watt or one eighth of a watt resistors. Also with the larger wire wound resistors you'll often find the power rating is printed directly onto the surface of the component. You can calculate the power that a resistor in your circuit will be expected to handle by applying Ohm's law. First we just need to calculate the voltage across the resistor and the current that will pass through it. In this circuit we had a 470 ohm resistor attached to a 62 volt power supply. You can calculate that roughly 0.13 amps of current will flow through the resistor by dividing the voltage by the resistance. So 62 volts divided by 470 ohms gives us roughly 0.13 amps or about 132 milliamps. Once you know the voltage and the current, you can calculate the power that will be dissipated by the resistor by using the formula P equals I times V, or power equals current times voltage. So 0.13 multiplied by 62 volts gives us roughly 8.2 watts. Another method you may see is power equals voltage squared divided by resistance, which will yield the same result. And so before even wiring up the circuit, we can determine that a 10 watt resistor would be required in order to handle the power that we've calculated will be produced. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please click like and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this soon.